In five summers on my uncle's farm as a child, I, I learned a lot of valuable lessons like being proud of what you do, doing the job right the first time, things like that. And they stayed with me all these years. In 1993, they were the reason I wrote this poem. It's called The Fence That Me and Shorty Built. We'd picked up all the fencing tools and staples off the road. An extra roll of barbed wire was the last thing left to load, and I drew a sleeve across my face to wipe away the dirt. The young man who was helping me was tucking in his shirt. I turned around to him and said, this fence is finally done. Five new strands of barbed wire shining proudly in the sun. And the wire, it's running straight and tight with every post in line. The kind of job you're proud of, one that stands the test of time. The kid was not impressed at all, stared off into space. Reminded me of years ago, another time and place when I called myself a cowboy. I was full of buck and ball, and I didn't think my hands would fit post augers in a mall. But they sent me out with Shorty and the ranch fence building crew. I was quite insulted. And before the day was through, I let him know that I'm a cowboy. This ain't what I do. I ain't no dead gum nester I hired out to buckaroo. He said, we'll talk about that, son, when we get in tonight, but right now, you pick them augers up. It's either that or fight. Oh, I was digging post holes faster than a Georgia mole. But if a rock got in my way, I simply moved the hole. So when the cowboys set the post, the line went in and out. Old Shorty's face got fiery red, and I can hear him shout, nobody but a fool would build a fence that isn't straight, and I got no use for someone who ain't pulling his own weight. I thought for sure he'd hit me. Glad he didn't have a gun. I turned around to find a place where I could duck and run, but Shorty walked up to me just as calm as he could be said, son, I need to talk to you. Let's find ourselves a tree. He rolled a bull Durham cigarette as we sat there on the ground, took himself a puff or two, then slowly looked around. Son, I ain't much on schooling. Didn't get too far with that. But there's a lot of learning hidden underneath this hat. And I got it all the hard way, every bump and bruise and fall. Sure, some of it was easy. Some most weren't fun at all. One thing that I always got from every job I've done is do the best I can each day and try to make it fun. I know that busting through them rocks ain't what you like to do, but getting mad, you've made it tough on me and all the crew. Sure, you hired out the cowboy, you think you got the stuff. You've told him you're a good hand and the boss has called your bluff. So how's that gonna make you look when he comes riding through and he asks me, who dug them holes? And I say, it was you. We could let it go like this, take the easy route, but doing things the easy way ain't what it's all about. The boss expects a job well done from every man he's hired. He'll let you slide by once or twice. Then one day, you'll get fired. Because if you're not proud of what you do, you won't amount to much. You'll bounce around from job to job just slightly out of touch. Come morning, let's redig those holes get that fence in line and you and I will save two jobs those being yours and mine and someday you'll come riding through you'll look across this land see a fence that's laid out straight and know you had a hand in something that's withstood the years and then proud and free from guilt you'll smile and say boys right there's the fence that me and shorty built <laughs>